morning, y'all. It's Kara from Club Pilates. We are going to do a reformer on the mat workout this morning. So I have all the props and toys. We're going to play with biting disc a little bit with a mini ball and a flex thing. Um, if you have any injuries, issues, conditions in your body that you need to make modifications for, please do so. Back injuries, shoulder injuries, neck injuries, knee, hip. Um, please modify for your body because I'm not there to give you that feedback. Um, so we are going to start with the flex band. So if you'll grab your flex band and meet me on the mat. with your legs out in front of you. I want you to start with the band wrapped around your back. You can soften your knees a little bit and sit up nice and tall on those sit steps. So try not to slouch or slump, but grow tall from the crown of your head. And then just bunch up a little bit of the band in your hand and then reach it just out in front of you. We're just gonna breathe a couple times. As you take a big inhale, I want you to feel your flex band expand. And then get a little closer to the other ear. Exhale, do that again. Bringing awareness to your breath, to your ribcage expanding, and your abdominals contracting as your ribs get closer together on your exhale. Do that one more time. Now keep breathing. But now I want you to give me a little protract. So we're just going to reach the hands forward and then we'll let them come back together. So here, focus on your shoulder blades coming forward and back while your spine stays still and your abs are drawn in. One more time. And then we're gonna sit on our band. Just put it under your tush, just little pieces. And we're gonna take that band overhead. So you might wanna decrease where you're holding it a little bit and just hold it overhead. And from here, we're gonna elevate and depress our scapula, which means we're gonna shrug up and down. So reach up a little bit, but focus on resisting the down. Have your arms wide enough apart that you don't feel too much rice crispy crunching in your shoulders. Reach up on your inhale, exhale, slide it all down. Reach it up, slide it down. Two more, reach it up, slide it down. All right, a little warm up there. From here, we're going to take our band around our feet. And we're gonna mimic some of our footwork moves, okay? So bring your feet parallel and about six bone distance apart. If you can get your band, if you have the flat flex band like this, um, if you can get it nice and flat across your toes, that would be awesome. And then bring yourself down to laying on your back, okay? So from here, we're gonna bring our legs up to tabletop. Find your neutral spine if you can. If you need a little imprint to stabilize, please go there. All right. Bend your elbows and hold that band. Don't wrap it around your hand and cut your circulation off, but hold that band in your hands, okay? So I got it like a, through my fist. Holding that nice and still, press out and bend in. Press out and bend in. Press. Press. So just a parallel, like our footwork, also kind of like to do the straps, right? Press. For three. And two. And one. And then. All right, we're going to add on to that. If you can, if not, stay right here with me. Okay? So now, as we press out, I want you to take your arms up to the ceiling. So press out for each arm up. And then them both. Arms and legs straight. Bring it back in. Arms and legs straight. Bring them back in. So start bringing an awareness, not only to your abdominals stabilizing your back and pelvis, but into those seat muscles. Your quads and hands are working. Find the buttock. Two more. Last one. And bring it down. All right, got one more add-on. We're going to take our own arms overhead if that works for you. So as you press your legs out long, your arms are going to reach over towards your ears. Not a place to floor, right? And then bend it. Arms straight up to the sky. 
and your reach. We're still in that parallel. See your sits bone distance apart and flex so you don't lose your band. And it's just a little overhead lift and lower. Find the range that works for you. Or maybe those elbows are still on the back. That's always okay. Two. And one. And bring it in. All right. So from here, we're going to make our heels kiss together in our Pilates V. And we're going to repeat all that with our turnout. Okay? So your elbows need to be just a little bit wider so you can have a little turnout. You have no more than about a fist distance between those big toes. You're not over-rotated. The rotation's from the hip. Knees trap over toes. Keep your elbows down. Press out. See if you can point your toes. Flex your feet as you come in. If your band is rolling up on your feet, omit the ankle movement. But if you can't, press it out. Draw those abs in. Breathe. Reach. Three. Two. Ready? Bend the knees. Now straight up to the sky. You straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Bring it back in. Reach. 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 Three. Two. One. Bring it in. All right, now we add the overhead. So arms up, legs in that frog to first position, arms and legs out. Bring it back in. Reach from the seat. Bring it back in. Reach from the seat. Lengthening those legs. Feel them zipping together. You can press it out long. Can we do three more? Three. Two. One. And release it. All right. So now, put your heels in. Mm -hmm. A little tricky. I'm going to keep my legs together on this, but I want it more on my heel versus my toes. Okay? We're going to repeat that. Press out. Keep your legs zipped together. Keep your toes pulled towards your nose. And breathe. You got it. Three. Two. One. Now arms and legs. Arms to the sky, legs out long. Remember, you can stick with the elbows down. Reach. Can you keep those legs up together? Oh, the inner thighs have to work in the seat as well as the thighs, right? Last one. Now, we're going to take arms overhead as legs go out. Arms to the sky, arms to the ears. Legs are still doing the same thing. Are your abs still connected? They should be. Last two. Last one. And bring it down. Go ahead and let your band go. And then rock yourself up to see it for me. Okay. I want you to grab your little ball. I need to make a quick adjustment. My clock fell over. Okay. So, we're going to do some abs here. Will you fold your mat? If you're on a mat, up, okay? Let me do that when I came back. I want your butt on your mat. Get your gliders. I'm not gonna use them just yet, but put them at the end of your mat so you have room to move your legs, okay? Mini ball behind your tailbone, okay? So we're gonna sit tall, and then I want you to just find a slight tilt, so we're just barely imprinting. We're tilting the pelvis, so we're on the back edge of the sit bones, yeah? And then we're gonna lean back to a little diagonal. Abs should be zipped up. And we're just hanging out here. The ball's supporting our back and our abs are pulling in to the ball. And sit back up, okay? So we're gonna do that again. So a little curl back, lean back, hold. Right there, hold. Take your arms up to the sky. You can take your eye gaze up, don't change your head, just your eyeballs. Bring your arms down, bring your arms up, eye gaze up. Oh, you should feel an increased quiver when you look to the sky. It changes our vestibular system. It's like a little balance challenge through the brain. <laughs> Arms back. One more time. Arms up. 
Breathe. Look up with your eyeballs if you can. Or better yet, close your eyes. Maybe still looking up to the ceiling even though your eyes are closed. Oh, big quiver. <laughs> Arms down. Sit all the way up. Maybe you didn't have a quiver. Did you find your spot? Okay. From here, we are going to add some discs. Okay? So if you put your heels on the disc, not your toes, your toes are your brick, right? We're going to find that same little spot back. So we're going to find that little imprint of our spine. Now I want you to keep your hand, not grabbing unless you need it, but just kind of rounded so your eye gaze is like between your thighs, right here. And then take your legs out and pull them in. I just want you to stay in a little C shape here. So a long flexion of the whole spine. Legs out and in. You can have your hands on your mat if you want, but stay in that little rounded shape. Pull it in. Put your belly button to the ball. Three, two, one. Sit up tall. So, mimicking some of our stomach massage moves here. So, now I want you to turn out slightly. Your heels are towards the inside of your disc or paper plates if you don't have the disc, right? A little bit of a turn out. Knees over toes, turn out from the hip. Now, we're going to sit tall. Reach your hands up. And then I just want you to just find the back edge of the sits bones a little bit, but keep your torso tall. Take your legs out. Pull them in. Breathe. So you should feel some legs working and find the belly. So slight little J, ever so slightly on the back edge of the sits bones. Rest in your posture as tall as you can without letting your ball go anywhere. Two more. One more. And release. Hip flexors and hamstrings are doing some work there for sure. Okay. Make sure you haven't lost your ball. Same thing, keep that little bit of a turn out if you can. And then from here, we're gonna put our hands on the ball or if you on the floor next to you. And I just want you to think, open your sternum and maybe look up a little bit, not all the way to where the ceiling and the wall meet, but up that way. So open your heart, okay? Squeeze those heels onto those discs and pull it back. So think as tall in your spine as you can. As you pull the disc and pull your abs in, Again, mimicking our stomach massage on the reformer. Working some abs. Pull it in. Toes down, take a moment. We're gonna add rotation to this. So I'm gonna go back to a parallel position so I'm a little less crazy with my movement here. Arms are up, we're gonna find that little tailbone tucked under, imprinted spine. Scoop the belly, chest open, so don't slump, chest open. Now, as, um, as we bring it in, we're going to turn. So we're going to go out first, and then we're going to turn. Sorry, I did that wrong. <laughs> Rotate while your legs are out. Scoop back to start. Go to the other side. Rotate while your legs are out. Scoop it back in. Rotate. Scoop. Don't judge me. <laughs> I messed up. But I own it. One more each side. Reach as you rotate. Scoop it in. Reach and rotate. Scoop it in. Ooh, sit all the way up. All right. So now we need to open those hip flexors a little bit. Keep your heels on the disc. Put the ball between your inner thighs, right above your knees, and lay yourself back. Okay. I'm gonna keep my hands on the mat because I folded it under towards me in the way that it would flip. So I'm gonna keep my hands down on the mat. Okay. Heels on the disc. Squeeze the ball a little bit so there's a little inner thigh connection, a little pelvic floor connection. And then peel your spine up off the mat so you're in a long line from your shoulders to your knees and knees are reaching over those toes. How long can you get in that spot? And then melt it back down. Okay? Imagine we're on the reformer. So we're going to do our little pelvic curl, press down into our hands. And we're just peeling up without letting the carriage go anywhere, right? So imagine that feeling. If you're not, you know, used to reformer, that's okay. Still find that length, and then melt it back down. All the way to the ground and to neutral. All right, we're going to add on to that. Pressing strong into the mat so your mat doesn't go anywhere. Pelvic curl. Peel it up. Knees over toes. Pull along. Your abs are pulling in, those hip flexors are nice and open, and your glutes are firing. Okay? Keep a little squeeze on the ball. Don't let your thighs go anywhere. 
Take your left leg out a couple inches. Pull it in. Then the right leg. Pull it in. So your thighs are going to shift a little bit on the ball, but I'm trying to keep my hips. Hip points, those little ASIS bones, still shining straight up. So I'm not dipping my pelvis. My abs are working a lot. So are my back muscles. And then my glutes and hamstrings. One more. Pull it in. Melt your spine all the way down. Okay, that was a little preview. <laughs> Squeeze the ball. Peel back up. Now, both legs, if you can. If not, do what we just did. Just small. Out just a little bit. Pull it in. So when we do in our um, some of our classes, we move the carriage in our bridge, right? So this is similar, but instead of the carriage moving, our legs are moving. Whoa! Keep those abs and glutes firing and your hamstrings won't hate me quite as much. I just broke out into a sweat. <laughs> One more. Pull. Squeeze your ball. Then release the hamstrings if you fire in your thighs a little bit more. Melt to your spine. All the way down. Take the little ball out from between your legs and put it under your right hand. White collarbones. Okay? We're going to lift straight up into our bridge. So tighten your abs and then draw a bridge or hinge up. Press down into the ball. So I'm kind of squashing a little bit. Now, keep your right hand pushing into the ball. Straighten the left leg. It's going to open all the way straight. Pull it back in. Do that four more times. Press down into that ball. Feel the arm muscles. And you'll get a little diagonal, like serape, like the sash. Going across your front and back of the body. Active, yeah. And then lower back down. Ball goes to the other hand. Tighten up the core. Press into that left hand on the ball now. Super strong, wide across your collarbones. Lift up. Try to keep your pelvis still as the right leg goes all the way out. Pull it back in. All the way out. Pull it back in. So here I'm trying to mimic when we do a single leg bridge. That's not in our beginner nice class. <laughs> but that's okay. Here, you can't fall off the floor. One more. And lower back down. All right. So we got some footwork, some bridge, some abdominals. Let's go to some upper body. So if you can straighten those legs out, we're going to do a little roll up here. So take your arms overhead. We're going to prep it first. Take an inhale as you bring the ball up over your face. And then just curl up to the points of your shoulder blades. And lower back down. If you have head, neck, or back stuff, and this isn't appropriate for you, just do some abdominal connection here. One more. Okay, now we're gonna, we're not going all the way up yet. Now we're gonna pull hamstrings in. So my heels are still on my disc. If yours aren't, that's okay. I'm gonna bend my knees as I curl up with the ball towards my thighs and back down. So a little chest lift. Last two. Last one. Now I'm going to try to roll myself all the way up. So I inhale to start the movement. I exhale and I'm going to try to sit all the way up and reach over my toes. I can't talk and do this one very well. So I'm going to be quiet for a second. I know that's rare. Whoopsie. Lost it. <laughs> Body wasn't ready. You might have done that too. Soften your knees a little bit. And let's roll halfway back and sit back up. I'm going to take my feet off of this. Roll halfway back. And sit up tall. Roll halfway back and sit up tall. Those of you that play along with me a lot on our videos might know that that first roll up can be my nemesis. Curl the tailbone under. I have a very straight spine. And so rolling through that low back can be really hard. And I gotta really find my connection. All right, let's see if we can roll all the way back. Roll all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Maybe you don't go all the way back and you just go halfway. Breathe in as you go overhead. Exhale, we're really going to scoop. Pull and reach. Let's try that two more times. Or you just stay with the halfway back, right? Roll it back. Big inhale. Exhale, try to dig your heels into the floor. Reach over your toes. To prove I can count to three, we have one more. And 
and reach and bring it up. Okay. From here, we're gonna go to a swan while our mat's still folded and the discs are there. So if you will flip yourself around so you're on your belly, okay? Bring your gliding disc in close to your mat and your mat should still be folded up so that you have room, arm reach in front of you, okay? We're gonna start with a little baby swan. Why don't you take your legs um, a little wider than your sit bones, so more like hip bone or shoulder distance, and then get them active. Think inner thighs reaching to the sky. If you need to turn out a little more with SI stuff, that's okay. Otherwise, so parallel active legs, pubic bone down, belly button in. So you're trying to like lift off of a little tack or hot pull. So my hands are about mat width di distance apart. Not as far if you're a little narrower, right? Shoulders down, pull your shoulder blades down on your back. Belly in, head long in line with your spine. Now, press into your disc and just come up into a little extension. Just like a little hover crack and bring it back down, okay? You can stick with that if that's enough for you. And then shoulder blades down, come up, right? And bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna prep you for this and then we're gonna put it all together. So stay like just barely hovering, lengthen that low back, pulling your belly button up. Reach your hands out in front of you. So now your arms are straight out. And then I want you to circle them to the side if you have space. And then bend your elbows to come back in. I'm going to move my mat or my band. Reach forward, circle, and pull it in. Now let's see if we can do that with a little more extension. You can stay down right there if you need it a little bit nicer. So we inhale, we're out long. My thighs are pressing into the mat, and so is my beauty bone. And then I'm going to come up into a little more extension. Bring my hands in front of me and reach it out. Find your range, you guys. Do not go into your low backs, please. So as you come up, Bring it in. So reach and guide forward, long spine, belly lifted. Open, as you come up, pushing into the discs, then you pull them in, reach out long. Do that two more times. Breathe in, really fire up that front line to help protect the back line. Come up, and bring it in. Okay, so we're gonna play with a little tricep here. So I want you to take your arms out long, Pull the belly in, lengthen that low back, and then we're gonna go like a little tricep pull. So into a little hover, arms are long, but I'm in that long, low hover crack swan. Pull your elbows straight in and out. So instead of going wide, pull them in. Pull your belly in. Feel the back line of the body working. My booty is firing, my belly is lifted. Try looking down a little too far. Three, two, last one. Reach it all the way out. Bring your disc to the side out of your way. Hands on your mat. Press back to your shell. Ah. You can unfold your mat. Oh. All right. If you can come to a kneeling position, that's where I'm going to go with this. If you need to stay on a seated position because your knees don't like to... Kneel, that's fine. Grab that flex band again, and we're gonna put it around our back. So I'm gonna put it around the bottom of my sh shoulder blades, across my rib cage, okay? And you can decide where to hold your band. I like to fold the little pieces up so it's less floppy, <laughs> okay? And you can always choke up. The flatter your band is, the less likely it is gonna roll up your back, right? Okay, so, Check that you can do a little chest press, right? Okay, I'm gonna tuck my toes under. You can have them fly if you want. But I want your knees hip bone distance apart. Zip up your belly, and then I want you to sit about halfway back, hinging over. So this is a position I sometimes call the circle position. And no, I've never circled in my life, but I've watched it. So right here, my elbows are bent, my knees and hips are bent, my belly is drawn in. And now I'm gonna come up to my high kneel and press out, okay? You can omit the legs and just hold still and do the arms. You could also be seated, right? So press out. Think shoulder blades connected on my back. And I'm just doing a little punch. My elbows are coming in close to my body and then I'm pressing out. I'm activating my whole body here. My glutes are working, my quadriceps and hamstrings, and then of course my, my arm muscles. Two more, 
As you press up, tighten those abs a little bit more. Hold it up. Now, soften elbows. Open and close into a hug. Open and close into a hug. Top posture if you can. Or if you bend it a little bit, then your arms stay at that same angle with you, right? So you can pick the angle that feels best for your knees. Pull abs in. Head in line for three. And two. And one. Bend your elbows. Give your hands a little break. Release and re-grip your strap if you need to. All right, we're going to do that again in a chest press position. So more of our punches. Okay, I'm going to add that like sit halfway back, belly in, and then I'm going to punch because I'm down. I'm going to punch towards the ankle. My left hand is going to keep a piece of the band as I press with right and the left. So I don't want the, the band to seesaw across my back. I'm holding it with a little tension in one hand as I go with the other. Again, you can be up top. My hands are at chest height, no matter what angle you put your body. Now, can you aim to the opposite corner of your mat and twist a little? So up tall, it's our twist with punches. Down here, we just get a little more leg work and a little more ab work, because now we have to hold us against gravity. My glutes are working as well, kind of in that eccentric, which is the lengthening of catching me. One more east side. And bring it up. All right. So, some of our front rowing there. I would like you to bring one leg forward. If you need an extra cushion under your mat, you can bring it folded up, right? Put the band under. I put my left foot forward, so I'm putting the band under my left foot. Okay. I want you to slide your hands down your band so you feel a little tension. That foot has to stay on the ground or you'll lose this, right? So I have it under the ball of the foot. You can put it under your heel if you wanted to. We're in a chest expansion. So up nice and tall, wide collarbone. Zip up your abs and your glutes. You're tall. We're not just like hanging out. And get tall. And then pull it back. Pull it back. Three. Two. One. Hold this one back. Now, push it back two inches. Oh, just a little bit. Shoulders wide, abs in, tall spine. Two, one, hold it. Hinge a little bit forward. Still stay active and core, long through spine. Bend elbows and straighten. So it's not how much we bend them. It's about the extension for the tricep. Press it back. Press it back. Woo, when I turned to look, I got bob wobbly bobbly. Three, two, one. Bring it all the way back up. Let your band go flat so we can switch legs. Bring the other leg forward. Again, if you need the cushion under your knee, grab it. And then this time we're going to go tall, tall spine, shoulders down. And now I'm going to fold the band in half a little bit and bring it into that hammer grip. So again, I don't want it wrapping around my hand. I want to kind of grab it in my fist. We're going to bicep curl here. So, thumbs to the shoulders. You can determine, based on where you grab your band, where your upper arm can stay. If you need it down low, that's okay. If you can go out further, more challenge. But, feel your shoulder blades stay connected so those shoulders aren't hiking up, right? Keep the neck long. Three. Two. Oh, feel those abs. One. Bring it down. Okay. Here, we're going to hinge a little bit. I'm going to adjust where I hold my band. You may as well. We're going to think sidearm, think unhug a tree. Right here. Open. Feel your shoulder blades come together. If you need it nicer? Let some of your band go. Pull your abs in. Keep that back leg and hip open if you can. Posterior deltoid, or rear delt, <laughs> and scapula. Head is long. Try not to let the shoulders hike up. Pull out. Three, two, and one. And bring it in. Nice. Take the band out from your feet. Bring yourself to seated. Legs out in front of you. We're not done with the band. 
Um, bring my ball over. Grab your little ball. Wedge it back behind your back. We'll get it there so it'll be ready. And the flat piece of the band is around the toes. Okay? I would like you to roll ever so slightly off your sits bones and lean back into your ball. I am going to cross my band so it's in an X. My feet are sits bone distance apart, so I'm going to have to work a little in those hips just to keep that still, right? So from here, think we're facing the risers or pulleys on the reformer. We're going to lean back. So ever so slightly tuck, that'll help keep your core engaged, and then lean yourself back. Kind of like that earthquake position. Now we're in a wide row. So my thumbs come to my armpits as I go wide. Not up. Out. So think shoulder blades and then elbows. Not a tricep press, that's next. So think pull wide, pull abs in as you draw it back. You can be sitting up taller if your abs say no thanks to this. But the band gives you a little counterbalance. As you squeeze those elbows and shoulders wide, feel the abs pull into the ball. One more. And bring it up. I'm gonna add a tricep to that, okay? So you might need to loosen your band a little bit because it adds a little bit extra. You can stay sitting tall and take a little bit of the abdominal work away. But, I mean, a lot of blood is all about the abs, right? The core. Moving from our to center. So tuck the tailbone slightly, lean back, and now pull those elbows back where we have them. And I'm going to make this a little nicer for myself. Okay. Tricep out to the side. So hold that high row position and then bend and straighten your elbows. Keep your shoulders connected on your back. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Sit all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna choke back down the band and we're gonna bow and arrow row, which means the ab rotation. So start tall. Curl back into your ball, make sure it didn't roll away. Lean back on that diagonal line. Keep the left hand right over the left knee as you pull the right elbow back and look over that shoulder. Bring it back, stay on the same side. Less see sawing of the band will help it. Pull low and wide. Initiate from the rib cage to turn. Keep your pelvis still so the sit bones are shining towards your knees. Three more. Pull. Two. And one. Let me sit up for a moment. We have to do the same thing on the other side. So release your grip and rest your hands if you need to. Little curl under. Lean it back. Right hand stays right over that right knee. Shoulders down and open. Left elbow pulls back as we twist the look over our shoulders. Initiate from those abdominal muscles, some of your back muscles, the obliques rotate around your body. Use them. Twist. Three more. Two. And one. And sit all the way up. All right. Take the band off of your feet. Grab your little ball from behind your back. We're going to go back down to the mat for some um, more of our abdominal work. We're going to do our series of five with the ball. So roll yourself back so you're all the way down. Okay. So the way I want to do this today is that push-pull. Some of you have done this with me. You can keep your other foot on the floor if you need to. So here, I'm going to start with my right leg at tabletop. And I'm going to hold the ball against my thigh. And I'm going to push into the ball. So I'm going to pull my ball my knee into the ball and my ball into the knee. You should feel that oblique kick in, right? Okay, do it on the other side. Just wake up those obliques. Not that they haven't already been working. Do the push pull. The push pull. You feel it? Okay. So now, if it's okay with you, bring both legs to tabletop. Head and shoulders can stay down or you can come into your chest lift. So as I come up into my chest lift, I'm going to pull right leg and ball together as my left one reaches out. I want to fire that left glute. I'm going to reach it long. Come back up and switch. Single leg stretch. Straight out. 
Like my legs are on train tracks. Small. You are in charge of how much resistance you have on that band. 
The band can be sometimes a little easier than no band because it supports you, but then it also has resistance, so it just feels different. Okay, ready? Kick it forward. So now we're gonna sweep and pull. So this would be like feeding the straps on our side instead of footwork, or some of our jumping movement, right? Sweep it forward, pull it back. I want you to find that seat on the pullback. Is your ball still inflated? I have to remind myself too. Three, two, and one. Hug that in. All right. Take the band off of your foot. Lay it right there. Come all the way down to your side. That top leg, the ball goes on the, under your knee. Okay? So it's just kind of tabletop. And then I want you to roll forward and back with your pelvis. Just roll the ball a couple inches. So I'm a little bit forward and back. All right, now hold it in your stacked hip, long spine. Support your head, okay? Now we're gonna lift the bottom leg. As you lift the bottom leg, push the top knee into the ball. So both inner thigh adductor muscles are gonna fire. Four, three, two, one. Hold it right there. Give me five little circles. Oh, keep pushing down with that knee into the ball. Reverse five little circles the other way. Don't lose that knee. Don't lose those abs. You should feel them a lot. I do. And release it. All right, from here, bend your knees. Bring yourself up to seated. I want your right hand, or if you were on your left side, whichever hand was on the bottom. If you can sit in your mermaid Z sit, great. If you need to adjust your knee position, that's okay. Straight arm onto the ball. We're gonna lean, so not a side bend yet, we're gonna lean. So roll it out, pull it back in. Feel the armpit muscles. Reach and pull. So it's more of our lean, which sometimes we do on the short box abs. Trying to work those obliques and then that lat. Okay, now we'll take it into our mermaid, which is the nice one, which will stretch it out. So elbow is bent on both arms to start with, just so we stay consistent. And then I want you to reach out, roll the ball away, and push both hips into the mat. And then bring it back in. Do that again. Reach up and over, rainbow that spine. Lift that top rib cage, stretch out that side. And then come back to start. One more like that. Breathe in and bring it up. We're gonna add a little rotation to this. So this is our rot mermaid with rotation on the um, reformer. So we're gonna go to side bend, and then that top hand is gonna come down and find the ball. And then I want you to push the ball away a little bit, pulling your belly in, and then pull the ball towards you, lifting your heart. Do that again. Push the ball away from rounding your spine, pulling the belly in, and you're just in a long uh, flexion. And now we're gonna go into an extension in that rotation, and pressing the ball and come up top. Do that one more time. Should feel kind of good. Pull in, press down, and come top. All right, ready? We got to do the other side. Starting with the legs and the band. So I'm gonna flip my band around. I'm gonna go ahead and put it under my on my foot. Ball it up. Ball under my rib cage. My spine, head, shoulders, and bum are lined up with the back edge of my mat. On a little forearm plank, I'm gonna try to keep my ball inflated. Top arm or bottom, whichever helps you hold that band, is there. My bottom leg is bent as a little kickstand. My hips are slightly forward, right? And then try to get long as long as you can, and that's fine. You can support your head if you need to, right? Find the spot that works for you. All right, bend and extend. You can choke up or down to find the amount of tension that works for you right now. Leg comes into a sideline tabletop. So imagine if you were on the reformer doing sideline footwork, your foot's on that foot bar and your body would be moving away, right, with the carriage. But your foot is really kind of in that same plane, like, right, you would lose the foot bar. So feel that. Yes, it's like sideline feet in the straps as well, but I want you to find that control. You should be feeling the glute back here, the bottom seat, but the lateral hip, and then quads and hamstrings. Probably some of your shin and calf to tibia else anterior on the front of the leg too from the band, right? Now hold it out, long, long, long. Give me small lift and lower. Ooh, reach it long, 
Reach it long. Uh huh. This is my weaker side. I always burn and miss, like right away with this one. Try to keep your ball inflated. I got focused on my butt. Forgot about my core. <laughs> Hold it. Ready? Sweep it forward. Pull it back. Try to keep the leg in the same line. And this is level. Pull it in. Sweep. Pull. Last two. Uh -huh. Last one. Woo, bring it in. Take the band off of your leg. Take the ball and lower down to the floor. Top knee on top of the ball in kind of a tabletop position. Bottom leg ball. Okay? Roll the ball forward and back a little bit. This actually kind of releases your hip. So there's a little pressing down, kind of smooshing the ball. Okay, now bring it to where you're stacked. Shish kebab sticks to that pelvis, right? Top knee presses into the ball as you lift the bottom leg. Lift. So both inner thighs connect together. Push. Lift. Inner thigh adductors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Forward. We're gonna hold this one up. Give me five little circles. Keep everything stacked. You might be quivering. I am. Five circles the other way. Small. Inner thigh pressing down into the ball. Yeah, last one. Bring it down. Take the ball out from under your knees, then to bring yourself up to that tall position. Okay, the lean first. So both arms straight, tip over, come back up. So I just want you to keep a straight spine, and we're basically moving from that shoulder to lean and pull it back in. So find that lat. Lean and back in. Lean and back in. One more like that. Now bend the elbow, both of them to help your brain work there. Try to keep that hip down and then press the ball out as you reach over and really push that hip into the floor. Then come up tall. Two more just like that. Reach out, up and over, making that little water spout with your hand. Maybe a rainbow, so it's gonna rain some more. Breathe. Now we're gonna add rotation. So breathe as you bring it over, and then if it works for you, rotate down, both hands on the ball. And then push the ball away a little bit, but pull your belly in, so you're trying to flex that low spine a little bit. And then extend as you come up to a straight line, pressing into the ball. Almost like a little baby swan, right? Press it away, pull the belly in. Big serape diagonal stretch. Pull it up tall. Do that one more time. Reach it out, flex, pull that belly in, and bring it up top, and come back to center. Take your legs straight out in front of you. We're going to put the ball on the shin, tippy finger, tips of the fingers, I already call it tippy toes, tippy fingers, shoulders down, I'm in a newer tippy fingers, so tippy toes. <laughs> All right, we're going to flex, spine stretch forward, this is just for a nice stretch, so sit up on your sits bones. Roll the ball towards your toes, flexing your spine. Don't just drop your chin to your chest, but lengthen your spine. Pull your belly in, open your shoulder blades, and then roll the ball back up your legs. Get it above your knees, press down. Tall spine, open your heart, look up. I'm looking up to the top of my doorway. And then I'm gonna roll it forward again, flexing over. Breathing, flexing that spine, pulling the abs in. I feel like this is like your final roll down, but you're seated instead of standing. Roll it back up above your thighs. Press down. Open your heart. Breathe. Do that one more time. Roll it along your shins. Pull the abs in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pull it all the way back up. Press down. Open your heart. And y'all, I am done with you this morning. I hope you've enjoyed that version of the workout <laughs> with all of the toys um, in play. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great weekend and rest of your day.